Chris, would you like to read your personal essay? Okay, Mrs. Donovan. Following Mrs. Donovan by Chris Griffin. After. Then she puts paper doll clothes on a picture of a sonogram. Chris, I think you should stop. What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I called you in today because your son, Chris, has been getting in quite a bit of trouble lately. In fact, just yesterday, he tried to pass this drawing off as his advanced art project. That doesn't sound like he'll be getting the best education. I don't know, Lois. Some of those cats go on to get pretty good jobs. Yep. Let's face it, Lois. The kid's an idiot. What the hell happened to all the smart genes in this family? I mean, I invent the razor blade comb, and my kids are doing nothing. I mean, when Chris grows up, will he even be able to get a job or, or take care of himself? And what's he gonna do when we die? Stop making fun of me! <gasps> I just wanted to listen to you guys have sex, but you were saying mean things about me! Chris! Oh, my God! Uh, no, we weren't talking about you! Well, you know, Lois, it's never easy hearing the truth. Especially from a fortune cookie. What does it say, Peter? Uh, just something about perseverance. What does yours say? Oh, by the way, there's a baby in my preschool with HIV, and my teacher gave you something to sign to get him kicked out. Hmm? Oh, look out, everyone. Double-digit IQ joining the table. Hey, Smarty, think fast. <laughs> he knows. He knows it's hot, because he's smart. Peter, we've completely destroyed his self-esteem. We've got to do something. You know, Lois, if Chris is having confidence issues, they have camps for kids like him. What do you mean? Well, they take kids who struggle in school and help them gain self-confidence in a nurturing environment. Hey, Chris, could we talk to you? If you're going to insult me again, just go away. Look, honey, we're sorry, and we want to do something special for you. Then this is the camp I choose. Yay! I get to go to space camp. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You guys are the best parents ever. These are mine now. Hey! Oh, honey, when we accepted those mugs, we knew this could happen. You know, Chris, it's not too late to change your mind about space camp. Sometimes it can be tough to fit in with a new group of people. Yeah, I sure had my troubles when I got involved with the Boy Scouts. I can handle space camp. I'm not stupid. Well, regardless, on the way back, we're stopping at that Down Syndrome camp we passed. Peter, that was the University of Florida. Welcome to space camp. Hi, we're here to register our son, Chris Griffin. Oh, great to meet you, Chris. Hey, this kid means the world to me. Keep an eye on him, huh? Hey, what's that in there? That's a sensory deprivation room that prepares our astronauts for the terrifying emptiness of space. Oh, cool. Hey, come on, Brian. Try it with me. Ah! Things got crazy so fast! I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. Welcome to space camp, everyone. Be sure to grab your physics textbooks, and you may want to brush up for tomorrow's lecture on orbital dynamics. H Hello? Oh, my God, Chris, what's wrong? Mom, I hate it here. I want to come home. All the kids are mean, and I keep messing everything up. Even Jinx the robot is picking on me. Joke complete. Oh, my God, look at this. Brian, get in here! What? Your play has been nominated for a local Hoggy Award for Best Creative Anything! Hey, so did you get a chance to read my play? Uh, I did. I did. Ooh, I'm so nervous. What'd you think? Oh, I know. I wanted it to be good so much. Oh, I'm so bummed out right now. I, I, now I don't even know if I should submit it. W submit it? Anyway, can I have that back? It's my only copy. Your only copy? Yes. And thank you for being a good friend and telling me the truth, Brian. I know that was hard for you. And to show my appreciation for reading my play, I made you this. Hey. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy Stewie pays to watch him sleep. Who are you? I'm Brian. I live here. Oh. You mind if I take this script? Yeah. Okay. Hey, how much does Stewie pay you? 4800 a week. Yeah. Hey, Brian. Oh, hey, Stewie. Listen, have you seen my play? 
You know, Stewie, I have seen your play, and it is exhilarating to me. A child's play is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Well, that's interesting, Brian, because I found this buried in the backyard next to your soup bone. <gasps> Stewie, I, I... You tried to destroy it, didn't you? I knew my play was good. I just figured it out. Stuart means mouse. No, Peter. Little means mouse? No, Peter. It's still a good play. It's filled with terrible double entendres, puns, and stolen bits. There's a line in there from Seinfeld. I never saw that episode. May every person that laughs at your sophomoric effort be a reminder of your eternal mediocrity and pierce your heart like a knife. <laughs> Come here, you bastard! <laughs> Hey, I need you to take me to New York for the opening night of my play. <laughs> no way. Besides, I checked, and there's no play by Stewie Griffin opening in New York. That's my dodgeball pseudonym. Look, if you won't take me, I'm sure the New York Theater League would send a car. New York Theater League? Why? Stewie, don't you think you're overdoing it with that outfit? I don't wear anything I can't take off with a flourish. Every major playwright is here. Yes, and it seems to be quite a successful party. Several of them have already committed suicide. Great party. <laughs> totally. Is that Tony Dovolani? Hello, Alan Bennett. Fantastic play. And I'm Yasmina Reza. Oh, are you his night nurse? No, I'm a playwright. I wrote Art and God of Carnage. I won a Pulitzer. You're a playwright in New York? Well... Quahog, Rhode Island. You're kidding. We just went and saw a play in Quahog, Rhode Island. Really? Have you ever heard of A Passing Fancy? I, I had heard only good things. It was a <laughs> piece of <laughs> on a <laughs> 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 Oh, my God, I got to hear... Oh, there you are. That was the worst night of my life. It's not like you were the only fat guy in there. What? There's your voice, Brian. It's a depressing voice, but it's yours. Right from that. Uh, listen, me and the other playwrights are going out to have drinks with Woody Allen and his daughter wife. You want to come? They talked a lot more crap about you after you left. Wait. D did you do that for me? What are you talking about? I'm a young writer. I just wasn't as ready as I thought I was. Maybe in a couple of years. Who knows? Guys, be sure to look down the whole time. It's really deep and freaky and disorienting. <laughs> we made it! I don't believe it! We climbed Mount Everest! I hate those guys. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's head back down. At least the hot pot's over. Peter, I still don't understand. How the hell can we already be out of food? Didn't I tell you to bring trail mix? Yeah, but by that I thought you meant a set list of totally awesome tunes, which I do have. I got the power! Oh my god, it's Ben Fishman! I am oddly prepared for this. You guys, there's someone up ahead! Ben! Ben! Oh my god, it's the Fishmans. Oh, we finally made it below the storm. Look! I see base camp! Over here, I think I smell them. Oh my god! Look down there! We gotta get them out! They'll die down there! Alright, I got him! Pull me up! I found a rock I like. Well, thank you both. You saved our lives. And Peter, 
I'll never forget what you did for us. You're a good man. All right, you rest up. Get better. We ate your son. Bring it up! Thanks, Brian. No problem. Hey, do either of you know what poison ivy looks like? Oh, yeah. Chris has a major dark side. My dad is actually really scared of him.